This video is created by Jagrat Creations. It is on joint venture accounts. I want to solve one sum wherein we are required to prepare memoranda joint venture account. Now this memoranda joint venture account is prepared under a condition that one, no separate independent books of accounts for joint venture transactions are being maintained and recorded. Joint venture being a partnership for a short duration, no going concern concept is followed. So even if the no independent books of accounts are maintained, it's fine. In such situation, all the transactions of joint venture are going to be recorded, but not in, not in an independent books. They will be recorded by partners. Now, suppose that in a joint venture, there are two co-venturers. Then, no separate books of accounts are maintained. So every co-venturer records only those transactions with which he is concerned. He is a privy to transaction. He is a party to transaction. So A will record only those transactions with joint venture where he A is a party. B will record all those transactions of joint venture to which he is a party to the transaction. A is not going to record all the transactions. B is also not going to record all the transactions in such situation. Memoranda joint venture account is prepared to find out the profit of joint venture business. This memoranda joint venture account is a statement. It is not a part of books of accounts. It is prepared not by following the dual aspect of transaction. Its purpose is to find out the profit of joint venture business and that is being done by a matching concept. After explaining this much about memoranda joint venture account, let me start with one sum here before you. The sum that I intend to solve here before you is this one. Just observe. Ram and Gautam entered into a joint venture to buy and sell TV sets on 1st of July 2017. On 1st of July 2017, Ram, Ram sent a draft of rupees 250,000 in favor of Gautam. And on 4th 4 4 July 2017, later, means Gautam purchased 200 sets at a cost of 2,000 each. The sets were sent to Ram by lorry under a freight to pay for rupees 2,000 and was cleared by Ram on 15th of July 2017. Ram effected the sales in following manner. 20 sets are sold at a price of 3,000 per set less 10% rate discount. 100 TV sets are sold at a price of 2,800 each. 80 TV sets are sold at a price of 2,700. 700 minus 5% discount. This is a sales process that we shall work out for 80 TV sets. On 15th of August, 25th of August, Ram settled the account by sending a draft in favor of Gautam. Profit being shared equally, show joint venture account with Gautam in the books of Ram. So we are going to record in the books of Ram only those transactions which are entered into by Ram for joint venture business. And to record those transactions, one account is prepared. The name of that, that account is Joint Venture with Gautam account. Similarly, we are going to prepare in the books of Gautam. Joint Venture account with Ram. So Gautam is also going to record the transactions of Joint Venture, but only those transactions with which he is concerned, which he has entered into for Joint Venture. And both of them, while writing the transaction with which they are concerned, they will also prepare memoranda joint venture account to find out the profit because they also hold a share equal share in profit. So to find out their share in profit, one statement will be prepared, identified as memoranda joint venture account or pro forma joint venture account that is prepared on the basis of matching concept. Now after explaining these things, I will start with the books of Ram. So here I prepare the books of Ram. This is the details of the sum as I read before you. So in the books of Ram, joint venture with Gautam account is prepared. Now see, they are going to share profits and losses equally that we know very well. Now let us start with the sum. See, I am Ram. 
Ram sent a draft of 250,000 to Gautam. So I gave 250,000 rupees for joint venture business. Now whatever I give for joint venture business, I will, the joint venture business with Gautam is a receiver, debit the receiver. So joint venture with Gautam account debit to cash or bank account credit. So here 250,000 will be debited to this account to bank account. So the normal journal entry under this situation is joint venture with Gautam account debit to bank account credit because I have given to like 50,000 for the short, short duration partnership means joint venture with Gautam. Now, the later purchased 200 TV sets each at a cost of 2000. Later means Gautam. Gautam has purchased how many TV sets? 200 TV sets. At what price? 2000 per set. Now this is a transaction between Gautam and joint venture business. Ram is not a party to that transaction. So Ram will not record this transaction in a joint venture account with Gautam that he maintains in his personal books of accounts. So Gautam contributes for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Gautam. Hence, not recorded in the books of Ram. So, this transaction I am not going to record in my books because I am not a party to the transaction. I am not a privy to the transaction. The sets were sent by Ram. Now, I am Ram. I have delivered the sets. The sets were sent to Ram by a lorry. I am sorry. The sets were sent to Ram. So, sets were purchased by Gautam sent to Ram. Now this is a very important sets were sent to Ram. I am Ram. I got the sets. These sets were purchased by whom? Gautam. Gautam has sent the sets to Ram. Okay. Now in this transfer no transaction takes place. Why? Because the ownership on the goods have not changed. Who, were, who was the owner of these TV sets? Ram and Gautam. Of course purchased by Gautam, but who were the owner? Ram and Gautam. The, if the ownership is of Ram and Gautam, and if the goods are possessed by Ram or possessed by Gautam, or goods are transferred from Ram to Gautam or Gautam to Ram, ownership do not change. So this is not a transaction to be recorded. So not recorded as the ownership over the TV sets has not changed. Very important consideration. Now, the sets were sent to Ram by a lorry under a two pay 2000 rupees and were cleared by Ram. So Ram took the delivery and at that time he paid 2000 rupees. I am Ram. I paid 2000 rupees. Cash goes out of my pocket. Cash goes out. Cash account is to be credited. I have paid this 2000 rupees for my joint venture business with Gautam. So this 2000 rupees joint venture with, joint venture with Gautam account debit to bank account free paid by me. Now see, Ram affected sales in the following manner. I am Ram, I have affected sales, I sold the goods. So when I sell the goods, I get cash. Cash is received. Debit what comes in, cash or bank account is to be debited. I got this money because of my joint venture with Gautam. So joint venture with Gautam is a giver, credit the giver. So joint venture with Gautam account will be credited for this sales process. 3000 minus 10% rate discount, 2700. 2700 into 26, 54,000 is the amount that I have received. Cash or bank account debit to joint venture with Gautam account credit, 54,000. Same way, 100 TV sets are sold at 2,800 to like 80,000 is the sales proceeds. Bank account debit to joint venture with Gautam account credit to like 80,000, 100 TV sets are sold. Now 2,700 minus 5% discount. So 135 is the discount. So net sales proceeds per TV set is 2,565 multiplied by 80. So 2 Five six five multiplied so two lakh five thousand two hundred is the sales proceeds that I got from our joint venture business cash and bank account debit to joint venture with Gautam account credit two lakh five thousand two hundred. 
This is how sales process I have received cash and bank account debit joint venture with Gautam account is to be credited for that. Now all the transactions are being recorded are recorded. Do you mean to say that all the transactions are being recorded by me? No, not all. Only those transactions with which I was concerned with, with, with to which I was a party to the transaction I have recorded. Now I have done all these things to earn a profit. So I should get my share in profit from joint venture. Now to find out that share in profit. Ram claims his share in joint venture profit. Member in a joint venture account is prepared to find out share of Ram in profit. So I prepare one statement. That statement is identified as memoranda joint venture account. It is prepared not on the basis of two full defects of accounting debit and credit principles. It is prepared on the basis of matching concept. To find out the profit, I prepared memoranda joint venture account. All expenses will be debited. So draft is sent by one partner to another partner is a transfer of funds. It is neither expense or nor revenue for the joint venture business so need not be recorded. So 200 TV sets are purchased. So 4 lakhs is the purchase price. 2000 rupees is paid. This is the expense of joint venture business. This is the sales proceeds of joint venture business. 54,000. 2 lakh 80,000 is the sales proceeds for joint venture business. And this is also sales proceeds for joint venture business. So sales is credited, sales value is credited, purchase price and expenses are debited. Now, after recording this sales proceeds and expenses, I can find out the profit. This profit being shared equally, as you know, so 1,37,200 is the profit that arrived at by deducting 4,2,000 from 5,39,200 share of R. Ram's share in profit one half, Gautam share, G's share, 1,37,200 into one half. So, I am Ram, my share in profit is 68,600, I should get that from Gautam. So, joint venture with Gautam account debit to profit and loss account credit 68,600. This is how profit entry is recorded. To record this profit entry, this working note, memoranda joint venture account is prepared. Now, this account is to be balanced from the sales proceeds. I am required to deduct all these payments made by me for joint venture. And the remaining amount is to be paid to Gautam. So, file at 39,200 that I received. This is the amount that I spent and I am entitled to have an income of 68,600. Difference is to be remitted by me to Gautam. So, that difference works out to be... 2,18,600. So I sent 2,18,000 to Gautam. Gautam is the receiver. Joint venture with Gautam is the receiver. Debit the receiver. So joint venture with Gautam account, debit to bank account, credit. This is the amount paid at the settlement of the account. And this is how joint venture business comes to an end. So this is how transactions are recorded in the books of Ram, wherein he prepares only one account, joint venture with Gautam account. And this memorandum joint venture account is prepared on the basis of matching concept to find out the profit. And the profit share of Ram in profit is found out and is to be collected from joint venture business. So to record this profit entry, this memorandum joint venture account is prepared. Now after recording books of Ram, I want to once again the record all this sum, these details in the books of another partner that is Gautam, books of Gautam. When Gautam records a transaction, he records only those transactions with which he is a party to the transaction. He prepares one account, joint venture with Ram account. All those transactions will pass through this account. Now let us start. Ram sent to Gautam. So Gautam received, I received funds from Ram. Funds are received, debit what comes in cash and bank account, debit to joint venture with Ram account credit. So joint venture account with Ram account is credited for the amount received from Ram. I am Gautam. I received to like 50,000 from Ram. Now after receiving, I purchased how many TV sets? 200 sets are purchased at the price of 2000 per set. So 4 lakhs is the purchases. I have made a payment. Why I made a payment? Because I entered into joint venture with Ram. 
So because I entered into joint venture with Ram, I made a payment of 4 lakhs. So it's a payment made for the joint venture business. Joint venture business is a receiver, debit the receiver. Payment is made, passed through bank account. So bank account is to be credited for these purchases. Now, the sets were sent to Ram. Now, I am Gautam. I have sent sets to Ram. Ownership has not changed. No entry could be recorded for sets being sent. But this 2000 rupees expenses are paid. They are paid by who? They are paid by Ram. Ram contributes. Ram contributes for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Ram and not recorded in the books of Gautam. So 2000 paid by Ram will not be recorded in the books of Gautam. Now Ram has effected the sales. So all this sales is made by whom? Ram. Not Gautam. I am Gautam. Ram has sold the goods. So proceeds are received by Ram. It's a transaction between Ram and joint venture. It will not be recorded in the books of Gautam. Ram receives for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Ram. And it's not recorded in the books of Gautam. So I'm not going to record the sales proceeds in this account which I have prepared to record my transactions with joint venture. Now Ram says everything is done, I should have my profit. Now Gautam claims his share in joint venture profit. Member in a joint venture account is prepared to find out share of Gautam in profit. So now I prepare member in a joint venture account. Exactly in the same manner that I have prepared member in a joint venture account in the books of Ram. I am at present I am preparing books of Gautam. So purchases are debited. Expenses are debited, sales proceeds are credited because expenses of purchase and expenses are to be matched with the sales revenue to like 80,000. Now 2700 into 5%. So this is the sales proceeds of HETV sets. So this is the sales proceeds minus expenses profit that will be distributed equally between partners. So 137,200 into one half share of R and share of Gautam. Now, I am Gautam. I am entitled to have a half profit, 68,600. I should ask that profit from Ram, joint venture with Ram. So, joint venture with Ram account debit to my profit and loss account credit. This is how profit entry is recorded. Now, the business is concluded. Business is over. All goods are sold. So, total of debit minus total of credit. This is the amount that I am supposed to give to Ram. Am I right? Where the difference is found? Difference is found on the credit side. So I have received a payment. I have received a payment, bank account debit to joint venture with Ram account credit to like 18,600. Now I have paid for purchases 4 lakhs. I have paid for purchases 4 lakhs. Again said I have received only 2 lakh 50,000. So pay purchase is paid by me to like 4 lakhs minus 2 lakh 50,000. Those purchases are paid out of my pocket. This is the profit that I am entitled to have. So total amount due from Ram to like 18,600 is raised in bank account debit to joint venture with Ram account credit to like 18,600. This is how books of accounts are recorded in the books of Gautam. He records only those transactions with which he is concerned. Member in the joint venture account is prepared to find out the share in profit. Share in profit is recorded in this account and ultimately the accounts are settled. This is how accounting is being done by preparing member in the joint venture account in the books of both the co-venturers. Now I have tried to explain you this. Sir. I feel that you must have followed all these things. Thanks to Allah.